Okay, so this is busy math six, page twenty. Data one averages. Okay, let's take a look at question one. So which person is the tallest, the shortest, the lightest, the heaviest, and the youngest, and the oldest? Okay, so that should be okay. Calculate the average height of the girls. So what you're going to have to do is add the height of the girls, Lisa, Vicky, and Sarah, and you're going to divide their height by one, two, three. Now let's calculate the average weight of the six people. If you add their weights together, you're going to get a number. You can divide that number by one, two, three, four, five, six. You can divide it by six. How many kilograms lighter than the average is the lightest person? So you see who's the lightest person here? And you get the average weight and you take away the lightest person. I think we can tell you that the lightest person here is going to be Lisa. What's the average age of the group? Again, you add up their ages and divide by the amount of numbers you add up. How many years younger than the average age of this group are you? Well, you have to answer that yourself. Now, you won't be able to do question two. Question five. You don't play the darts game. Each of each trolls. The person with the highest average score was the winner. Sometimes the dart can hit the target. So, see here, if there's a little line, a little kind of minus line, that just means they didn't hit the target at all. So, they don't get any score for that. So, Billy in his first throw, he got eight. In his second throw, he got one. In his next throw, he got 20. Next row he got 11. Next row he missed the board altogether, so he gets nothing for that. Then he got 16, then he got 9, then he got 7. Now if we had to work out his average, what we'd add, we'd add all his numbers together, and we divide by the number of throws he had. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Divide by 8. And we do include this, because this effectively is a 0. So we add, we, we do include that when we're dividing. And then let's have a go at the challenge here too. Being sure to play a practice game. Kira's average score was 11 and Bill's average score was 7. Calculating right there. Missing scores. Right, so let's see. 8, 19, 7, 2. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's 8 throws all together. Each had 8 throws. Kira's average was 11. So all together, she would have got 8 multiplied by 11. She would have got 88. Billy would have got 8 multiplied by 7. So he would have got 56 all together. So you need to try and figure out what's the missing, missing box each time. 